Apple Car is coming later than we expected. Xiaomi Mi 11 is official. Microsoft's improving its Office app. Galaxy S21 pre-order alert available now. You can still get Windows 10 for free. What's up everyone, this is Dave LeClaire with Make Use of Tech Bytes. We are here to break down the biggest tech stories from the last couple days. So kick back, relax, and let's get it going. A top Apple analyst says that the Apple car will not be coming until 2028. Original reports indicated that we might see the car as soon as 2024, but the latest report says that 2025 would be the absolute soonest. 2028 is the most likely scenario, which means we will be waiting a very, very, very long time to have Apple driving us around autonomously. The analyst who reported this has a pretty solid track record with 78% of his predictions coming true. Now obviously that's not 100% and we could see the Apple car sooner than 2028, but as it stands right now, it looks like it's gonna be a little while, so get patient, maybe go pick up a Tesla. For our next story, the Xiaomi Mi 11 is official, and as we expected, the phone is only coming to mainland China, which means the rest of the world will have to be very sad because the first phone with a Snapdragon 888 processor will not be available to them. Now, for those who the phone is available for, this phone is pretty freaking sick. You can get it with either eight gigs or 12 gigs of RAM, and then depending which RAM configuration you choose, you'll either get 128 gigs or 256 gigs of internal storage. It also features a large 6.81 inch screen, that screen comes with a 3200 by 1440 resolution, which is quite high. And it also comes with 120 hertz, which is the big deal because that gives you that super smooth scrolling that we all love to see. When you're watching videos, it looks great. Playing games, it looks great. 120 hertz is one of the big game changers in terms of mobile devices. It also has a beastly camera system and it can even record 8K video at 30 frames per second. Sure, you probably don't have a screen that can display that 8K video, but it's nice to know that you can record it if you want. One of the more exciting aspects of the phone is actually the battery. It comes with a 4600 mAh battery, which is quite large, but the exciting part is that it features 55 watt fast charging and 50 watt wireless charging. It even comes with 10 watt power sharing. So if there's something that you want a battery to do, the Xiaomi Mi 11 can probably handle it. So Microsoft is rolling out a new navigation tool for its mobile office app, specifically on Android and iOS, Microsoft Word. Basically, the update is designed to introduce the heading style navigation that you get on the desktop versions of Microsoft Office. So be able to create headings or let the AI algorithm create headings for you and quickly scroll through your document, which will make it a lot quicker getting things done. And let's be real, that's what you use Office for, right? You wanna get your work done as quickly as possible and move on to the next thing. This might just be the quickest story we've ever covered on Tech Bytes, but it's something that you probably want to know, and that is that you can actually lock in an alert right now for the Galaxy S21 pre-order through the Samsung Store app. So if you're interested in picking up this phone, you should go on in there, lock in that alert, because you'll actually get $60 you can spend on accessories for your phone. So not only do you find out exactly when it goes up for pre-order, you get a little bit of free money involved. Now, of course, we don't know much about the phone, so you're kind of going in on blind faith that Samsung is going to release exactly what you want. Granted, most of the specs have leaked, but until they're confirmed, we can't be sure. So if you're interested in S21, you might as well lock in that alert and get yourself that pre-order bonus because who doesn't want a free $60 in accessories, right? And our final story of the day, Microsoft really, really, really wants people to upgrade to Windows 10. Now in 2016, the company killed off its upgrade scheme, or so we thought. Turns out if you're still running a legally activated copy of Windows 7, you can go through that same process that Microsoft outlined four years ago and grab yourself a copy of Windows 10 without spending a penny. So if you're still running a computer with Windows 7 and you wanna try Windows 10, this is the perfect time to upgrade because it will not cost you anything. And we don't know how long Microsoft will keep this going for. Now granted, it's been four years and this free upgrade scheme is still running, but at any point, Microsoft could decide to kill it off. So if you've been holding out and you're riding on that Windows 7 train, it's time to hop off, get on Windows 10, get your free upgrade while you still can. Honestly, Windows 10 is pretty damn good now and it's really worth upgrading to. So if you haven't yet, you might as well. It's free, there's no reason not to. I get it that Windows 7 is your OS of choice, but once you give Windows 10 an honest chance, you'll like it. It's much better than eight, I promise. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Make Use of Tech Bytes. As always, I have been Dave LeClaire, bringing you the latest stories from the world of technology breaking them down, giving you the facts, and then letting you move on with your day. So with that, why don't you move on with your day? But first, make sure to like and subscribe to this video, and we will see you in the next one.